My name is Sarah Jane Payne, and I'm a professional engineer, and I'm also an assistant professor at Queen's University in Civil Engineering. I like to think of civil engineering as the engineering of everyday life. So from the moment you get up in the morning and you turn on your tap to get clean, safe drinking water to brush your teeth or have your drink of water, to when you step outside and you are on the sidewalk or get on the school bus to go to school and you're in the nice, safe building. Uh, those are all things that civil engineers work on. I became interested in engineering and specifically the environmental side of engineering uh, because of some really great teachers I had in about grade six. And they're really interested in the environment, encouraged us to do lots of different projects about the environment. So I have a strong memory of making a solar, a solar cooker in my backyard and doing lots of projects about recycling. And it really got me interested in ways that we, um, as individuals using math and science could help uh, improve the condition of the environment and life on this planet. My work focuses on drinking water and I'm interested in finding out uh, what kinds of contaminants are in drinking water and how to protect drinking water, so how to treat it, and then how to make sure it gets safely delivered to our homes. So I'll walk you through an example. If you think about where our drinking water comes from, in Kingston, we use Lake Ontario for the most part. So I want you to think about what types of things might end up in the lake that you wouldn't want in your drinking water. Biological things, so dead plant or animal material, or other living things like bacteria and think about chemicals so what kind of chemicals could end up in the lake and what kind of physical objects are just in the lake that you don't need coming out of your tap so that's where we start to think about how do we need to treat drinking water and the first thing we need to know is what types of contaminants are there and when we go to the drinking water treatment plant, there's different processes that are targeted towards different types of bacterial, so microbiological contaminants or chemical contaminants or removing those physical contaminants. And once we treat the water and it's considered safe to drink, so we've removed all the contaminants that we're worried about, it then goes to the distribution system where it travels underground in pipes to your home over the course of several days. So we need to think about how do we protect that water so that by the time it gets to your house, it's safe to drink. I have a few final thoughts. Uh, the first is that uh, we all play a role in protecting human health and environmental health. And even as kids, there's a lot of activities that you can be involved with, such as shoreline cleanups or different awareness campaigns. And those are really important roles that you can play to helping protect your community. And my second thought is that, uh, you know, we often think of engineers as just science and math, but actually a lot of engineering is about communications and understanding the needs of other people and being able to help solve problems. And that involves being a very good listener and being a really creative problem solver. So if you're interested in writing or the arts, uh, those are really important skills that you can help bring to engineering.